Hello guys and welcome back to another game review. Today I will be reviewing Minecraft Dungeons. Minecraft Dungeons was played and recorded on the Xbox One X. The story centers around a child illager that was mistreated throughout his adventures and found a secret power that he now uses for evil. You play as a player who has no real story. You're just out there to defeat all of his goons and to defeat him. The music. Music was great in this game. The music suited the game so well, it felt like an add-on to the regular Minecraft game. The music gave off a Minecraft feeling. It just adds a lot of fun to the game and fits very well into place during tense moments of the game. The graphics are really good in this game. To me, it looks like regular Minecraft with shaders and maybe some RTX. The graphics are suited perfectly with the way the game is structured. It's realistic enough that it feels like a realistic game, yet it feels cartoonish like Minecraft should be. The controls are surprisingly very easy to get used to. On the bottom of the screen, they always show you the button layout and the buttons that you have to press to use a certain power-up. The controls were also very minimum, which added a sense of ease to getting used to the controls. There was quite a bit of content. There is more content in the sense of how long the missions are and which rewards you get from those missions. You can always go back to the older missions and make them a little more challenging, just so then you can get used to a challenge and get better upgrades. There are also little chests all around each map that have emeralds which you can use to buy things. I'll get to that later. I would really play this game again. The story is pretty straightforward and easy to follow. The gameplay was a lot of fun and it's also fun finding little secrets and easter eggs in each map. I never got bored in this game, which really surprised me. There are always enemies to defeat, and sometimes there are puzzles, but not a lot, and they're not very complicated either. The gameplay was very well done. It's not like your regular game you have, like an over... You have an overhead view of your character, and I like that. I like it because there's a secret room or if there's a secret room or something, you can see it and then you figure out a way to unlock that room, which usually was very easy to do. The fighting in this game was a lot of fun as well. It was satisfying, satisfying using a sword than having a sweeping movement or where you can kill three zombies at once. There are little details within the game that add fun to it. For instance, you can enchant your weapons, just like regular Minecraft. And enchantments really do help. You also have a base camp where you have access to a map, a wandering trader, and a blacksmith to get weapons. There are only two things that I would change in this game. The first thing I would have liked to see was the sense of building, because you, can, you know regular Minecraft where you can build whatever you want in the game. In this game there is no building, and I wish, I wish you could do things like that at base camp. Another thing that I would change is the last mission. The first like five levels were pretty easy and, and a lot of fun, but then once you get to the last mission, it can get extremely frustrating. Like the last mission is really hard and you really need to be good at strategizing. So just a fair warning that the last mission is very hard. But anyways, with every review I do, I will give a rating out of the number 10. I give Minecraft Dungeons a 9 out of 10. I came to this number because this game was a lot of fun. There's just so much gameplay, and it was very satisfying, the controls and the fighting. I did not give it a 10 just because, in my opinion, the last mission is insanely hard. And I also wish there was a way to turn down the difficulty, but you were stuck on hard. But in the end, this game was a lot of fun. If you're interested in getting this game and you like Minecraft, I highly suggest you get this game as well. The game is currently on Xbox Game Pass, so if you have Game Pass, download this game. You will not regret it. Anyways, I honestly don't know what game I will review next, but I'll figure it out soon. I was thinking of doing the Arkham series, but I don't think I have all the Batman games. I only have like... Three, I think. I don't know. Or Halo or something. But anyways. Thank you all and see you next time.